All right, let's look at solving double inequalities. Notice we have two inequality symbols in here. So when we solve this, we want to get the variable in the middle and everything else to the outsides. So we want to get rid of the three. So we're going to add three. And so we have to do that to all three parts. So we get one is less than or equal to two X less than 10. Then we divide by two. We have to divide everything by two. So we get one half less than or equal to X less than five. Now we want to graph our solution. So I've got zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So to graph it, we have x is greater than or equal to one half. So one half is about right here. So that's a closed in circle because it's greater than or equal to x greater than or equal to one half. And that's everything larger than one half, but less than five. And on the five, we have an open circle because it's not equal to. Now we want to write our answer in interval notation. So that's going to be from one half to five. And the one half has a bracket because it's equal. And the five has a parenthesis because it's doesn't have the equal. All right, let's solve this one. Let's subtract three to both sides to all three parts. So I get negative four less than negative two x less than six. And then I divide everything by negative two. And since I'm dividing by a negative number, I have to reverse the inequality symbol. So I get two greater than x greater than negative three. Now let's rewrite this with the smaller term first. So I've got negative three and I keep it pointing the same way. X less than two. So I graph my solution. I've got negative three, two, one, zero, one, two. And since it's the negative three is not included and the two is not included, we have an open circle and we have an open circle on the two. And then I write my answer in interval notation. That's negative three to two and I have parentheses on both of them. All right, let's look at this one. I have a fraction, so I want to get rid of the fraction. So I'm going to multiply everything by two. So I have two times one is less than or equal to two times two X minus three over two, less than two times five. So I get two less than or equal to, and the twos cancel, two X minus three, less than 10. And then I add three to both sides to all three parts. So I get five less than or equal to two X less than 13. Divide everything by two. I get five halves is less than or equal to X less than 13 halves. So now I want to graph my solution. So I've got uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And to graph it, the five halves, that's going to be between the two and the three. And the 13 halves is going to be between six and seven. Okay, the five halves, we have a closed circle because it's or equal to, and the 
13 halves has an open circle. And there's my graph. Now I'll write my answer in interval notation. So that's 5 halves to 13 halves. I have a bracket on the 5 halves because it's included. And the 13 halves has a parenthesis because it's not included. And that's it.